Hey guys, Scott here from Medic Man Gaming 717, back in Emerge NYC today. Didn't do, uh, this is going to be the first part of my Let's Play series. <clears throat> and, uh, so we're going to do some Fire Academy stuff. We got the squad, Squad 28, and Tower Ladder 57. Uh, two of my favorite pieces, um, the other is Engine 78, and we might get Engine 78 involved too here. I'm uh, going to try to not make this video very long, I uh, just want to go over some basic engine company and truck company stuff. A um, little bit of background, I've been a firefighter, an actual firefighter since uh, 2004, uh, I've been a lieutenant, I've been um, the president and secretary of my volunteer companies. Uh, been at, uh, I've been a career and volunteer firefighter, both roles. So, anyways, uh, that background information. Let's uh, get into it, guys. I'm gonna take the squad out. Got in the got in the squad there. Took the parking brake off. I'm gonna just get it rolling here, guys. It's a wonderful thing, the squad, you know, has engine and truck capabilities. You know, one-stop shop, guys. Uh, so, anyways, if you didn't know to turn on your lights, J. J will get you your lights. T is the horn. Um, we'll get out and walk around a little bit here for a second. Uh, y would be your electronic cue that you can toggle on and off. H is your... Uh, your power call, B is your electronic siren, uh, you know, that's just continuous, and then uh, N is like a, a phaser. So anyways, guys, any anytime you start a shift, you want to, you know, walk around your truck, check it out, make sure everything's working, stuff like that. I like to do this with all the pieces, you know, every time I'm in NYC. Or emerging the YC, uh, you know, just so I can remember, familiarize myself with the, the apparatus. You, know. um, you do have ladders on this truck. Sometimes the angle is hard to get to, so you might have to stand back a little bit. And even then. <laughs> Anyways, we'll close up these doors. Bring the lighting up maybe a little bit. Um, sorry about my audio, guys. I know it's an issue. Um, working on it. Um, I have a new mic coming, so hopefully that will take care of that shortly. Sorry about that, guys. Working on it. Anyways. Um, so, we're going to go into the residential neighborhood over here. Make sure you always take the P, your parking brake off. You can hit P and disengage that. There's a little of the Q. So the nice thing about these New York engines is they have a front connection. So uh, normally in any other state or town, it's usually your Poland supply line off of the side or um, the back of the truck. In this case, you know, you can just nose into the uh, nose into the thing and go to town. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to this corner house here. Okay. Now, you normally would want, um, so I'm going to go right here, and the best thing about this is I have a plethora of options here with, um, you know, my hydrant choice. So I can either go here, or here, or, you know, over there. But... I think what we're going to do in this case, guys, we're going to grab the front supply line, uh, run it over to the side from here, connect it with the little E. 
Sometimes you gotta Sometimes you gotta Sometimes with the nose uh, no supply line you gotta go back and pick it back up or again or whatever, so Pesky, we'll go over here and was not having this issue earlier. Sometimes you got the kinks in, sometimes you don't. I don't know why they're doing this. This is ridiculous. But anyways, regardless. So anyways, what I would normally do if we were actually in the game and not at the academy, I would have came over here and uh, grabbed the hydrant wrench first. Um, so you want to be quick, guys, because you want to, like, the fires in this game, I tell you what, they spread like no other. So you want to get your water source right away, and you know, sometimes I like to just drop the hydrant wrench right there, and that way I know it's there and not going to go anywhere, because once you switch out pieces, you know, stuff gets wonky. So anyways, in game, when you're in the city, you can actually dispatch the other pieces of apparatus instead of... Um, you know, spawning out and driving it to you, but um, some people like to just drive it there too, because AI traffic is crazy, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, uh, it doesn't look like we can do that at the academy, though, within the academy setting. So, anyways, getting a little bit off the topic. So, we're going to get in here, we're going to take the truck over. Normally, you'd have, on a first alarm fire, you'd have two engines and a truck at the minimum so at least that parking brake hit them lights gotta love it guys some of my favorite sounds right there guys love that that's the best sound right there Anyways, in a real fire department, um, normally you have, you know, depending on what you got going on, if you're rolling into a structure fire, the reason I parked the engine the way I did on the corner like that, it gives me access to the hydrant. Normally you wouldn't have this many hydrants and this close together. And it leaves room for the truck to come in and set up. So I'm going to set the parking brake on that and get out. So. As you can see, the truck here, the truck always takes the address side, the A side. And you can hurry up and extend the rigger, outriggers. Now, as long as you stand here, you only have to hit the button once and you can just stand here. And the outriggers will, you know, extend. So, just food for thought, guys. And then, so, the truck company is going to want to, you know, get to the roof and, um, you know, get to the roof and do some ventilation for, uh, the guys, the engine company guys, so, we're gonna, we're gonna do that, so remember what I said about, um, getting all your equipment ahead of time, guys, get that equipment, get that equipment ahead of time, Make sure you have it with you. So I'm going to grab a saw and I am going to 
to grab a... We're going to grab this hook. We're going to grab the pike. So, still didn't give me what I wanted anyways. But, anyways, you can go over here, hit F. And S, A, W, D are the directionals. Um, S and W are raise and lower it. And then Q will extend the ladder. E will um, E will retract it. Anyway, it's gonna hit F. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna hit I wanna I wanna hand to my tool, I want to get uh, the saw out first, and I'm going to help. Oh, and you don't want to do that, guys. <laughs> but, quick and easy. So normally you would have what's called an attic ladder or uh, a roof ladder and you take the roof ladder out of here. This is nice because then I can just do this. And open the door and unlock the door and do the door, right? Do the thing. Definitely already got through into the house. And see, this is a problem. Like, if this house is on fire and you can't get out, what are you gonna do? You know what I mean? Like, no problem. So, anyways, I wanna uh, go up to the door, open the door, kick the door in. Actually, you're supposed to hit F, but it is what it is, guys. Uh, so, you've got your ladder truck set up, your engine's already here. And the nice thing about this is you can go up to the pump panel, get yourself some water, you know, um, and come over here, and you can pick your attack line. So, if you do that, you know. Like I said, should have, besides running it out, I should have grabbed a nozzle ahead of time. But that's okay, because then this way I have, I can run back, set my line on the ground, because I'm going to have to hook it up to something, right guys? So I'm going to hit that. engines you'll have like a connection in the back and stuff like that. Not on the squad so much. So there's that. Got water going to it and everything. So grab my nozzle. Itty and there you go. But the nice thing about this place is it's already vented and everything. But let's get a little fire going here. These these houses really do catch fire quick, guys. So you know, you know uh, being quick about this stuff is always good. So, like I said, have your tools with you, you know, ahead of time. The nice thing about this is this house is already vented, you know. go in here, kick the door open, and put on my mask and stuff, go into first person view. First person view I found has been the best as far as like firefighting aspect of it, you know. Look at that guys, we're already done, of course.
Normally this this house would have had plenty of time while we were responding to get all fiery and stuff, so. Alright guys, uh, that is some of the features of the truck and engine. Uh, the squad does have ladders and saws and everything else, so that's kind of nice. Just want to make sure you get all your equipment back where it was. Alright guys, so um, thanks for watching. Let me know what I could be doing better, improving on. I'm a brand new YouTuber, so you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, guys. I know I have some audio issues. I have a new mic coming, so hopefully that will take care of that. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. Definitely comment, guys. I'd love to hear, you know, your feedback and stuff like that. Um, tell me what I could be doing better or what would be more entertaining. Because I want to entertain, you know, guys. I want to want to be entertaining and be worth watching so definitely uh, let me know how I can improve like I said audio is gonna get better with my new mic that's coming so all right guys I'm gonna I'm gonna call this good this is gonna be the first video in my let's play series let's let's play in emerge NYC and uh, thanks for watching guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.